Hi, everyone. I'm just going to let a few people join. So just give us give us a second. But I'm glad you're here because this is a, an exciting moment for makers. Okay, great. All right, here we go. Hi, everyone. Hi, you amazing makers, followers. Um, my name is Dylan McGee. I am the founder and executive producer of Makers. Um, I'm coming to you live from my family room in Westchester, New York, where it's a little rainy, um, but we're going to bring some sunshine in this conversation. Um, I've been home for 10, 10 days now. Um, I'm at home with my husband and one son, and I have another son who is in Montana, who I think may be watching, so hi to Henry. Um, you know, during these 10 days, we've really had an extraordinary makers team bonding, and we wanted to think of how we could respond to all of you and really bring you into the homes of our makers and have somehow in our makers way, and Gloria and I were connecting about this, you know, how can we, um, you know, in this crazy time we're living in, how can we connect with one another? And we thought the best gift we could give to you is to allow you to connect with our makers. And really what we're going through is a shared experience. And we want, we, you know, our goal with this makers at home series um, is to really tap into the lives of our makers and, and find out what are the three things that are getting you through. And we want to have fun with this. I mean, for me, it's like every morning I'm having a grapefruit because it's vitamin C and it's, you know, wrapped. And so, you know, the skin protects it. I am, um, I'm playing a lot of backgammon with my son who's now starting to beat me. That's not so good. I am, um, I'm, I'm on my, oh, look. It's, I have a Peloton there. Exercise is a new thing. I'm feeling grateful that exercise started um, in my life about a year ago. So I'm doing a little bit of that. Um, but anyway, what I'm doing is not what you want to hear about, although I'm happy to share. What we're going to do today is we're going to launch our very first Makers at Home um, with Gloria Steinem. And before we get to Gloria, um, I just have to tell you why she is the perfect first guest for us. Um, when we, Makers, for those of you who don't know, uh, when we started Makers, I went to Gloria and I said, um, we are going to do a film on your life for HBO. And she said, no. You can't tell the story of the women's movement through the story of one person, that there's a collective of stories that have never been told and need to be told before they're lost to history. So I like to say that no turned into the best yes I've ever received and really the catalyst for creating makers and building it into what it is today. We've been around for eight years. And again, we love all of our followers. So thank you for following us at Makers Women. Um, we couldn't do this without you. And uh, we've had fun putting this together. We spent the last two days testing it out. I had some some friends who were on the Makers board. Thank you, Allie, Gail, Gail, um, and um, who? Oh, Christy, uh, for testing this out with us. Um, because it's, it's technical. It looks so easy. You just press a button and you go live. But there's some technical stuff to this. And so amazingly, Gloria is um, at home alone. She just celebrated her 86th birthday and she was willing to do this for all of you. Um, and so we've, we did a test yesterday. Um, thank you, Aubrey, for doing that with us. And, uh, I think she's sitting there ready, um, and raring to go. Um, so, so get ready. So Gloria, get ready to press this button and, and bear with us. If we don't get it right, we may have to log off and come back on, but here we go. Please welcome the one and only, live from her home in New York City, Gloria Steinem. Okay, let's do this. And then, okay, we're going to get this. Gloria's going to join. I'm going to look for her name. And it's going to pop up. I know we're going to do this. It's not going to be Gloria. Watch this. It's going to be me that's the problem. All right. Wait. Oh, gosh. It went away. Hold on. 
Okay. I'm scrolling through. Everyone text me if Gloria's on so I know. Good thing is our Makers fans are patient people. I don't see her here yet. Oh, but I am seeing some pals. Oh, Gloria pressed request. Okay, I just got a text. So she, oh wait, hold on, I saw you, Gloria. Okay, here we go. Get ready, it says waiting. Connecting. Hi. <laughs> I gosh, I should have looked in the mirror. Oh gosh. <laughs> oh, oh Gloria, we all are. You know, it's with the beauty of this is this is real. I mean, if you could see my roots right now, it's, it's really. I know somebody. A, somebody should invest in home hair hair color right now. <laughs> I know. I'm thinking right. Just order a bottle and see what see what happens. Got nothing to lose. So Gloria, how yes. are you? Uh, well, I, I I am fine in the real deep sense of, you know, writers are used to self-isolating. I have plenty of food. I have a garden and a cat. I'm extremely lucky. I haven't been outside of my door except once in three weeks. <laughs> um, so I, I don't know what the future is, but I think this is a lesson in living in the present, which happens to be the only time we can live with all five senses. Right. Well, there you go. So have you opened the window to kind of look at a, at a person on the street? Yeah. No, no. I have, I have windows on my little block here on 73rd Street in Manhattan. And the cat and I, the cat loves to sit there and also watch the people in the street. And there are never more than two or three people in the street, I would say. But mainly, you know, I think I, like so many millions of people, have been in touch online. Right. I mean, I have never, especially because I had a birthday, so suddenly I, I had, you know, just hundreds of messages. And in touch with people I haven't talked to in a long time, in touch with everybody, you know, it's, 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 it's really amazing. So tell us about, so what was your birthday like? What, how, what was, how did the day Well, my, my birthday was totally online with, with two uh, films, <laughs> uh, all the people who, or many of the people who are in Julie Tamor's film, which will open in September, by the, by which time I hope the country is open, um, and and also uh, Kathy and Jimmy, who marshaled lots and lots of people, and now I just have, you know, tons and tons of thank you notes. It's like the, <laughs> it's it's like the joke well, about why don't Protestants have orgies? Too many thank you notes. <laughs> Well, can we all can we all agree? I think everyone on this will give us a high five. Gloria, our present to you is you don't have to write thank you notes. Can we do <laughs> no, it? No, no, no. But a lot of them, they're friends, you know, so a lot of them I really, I really want to do. I know. I'm trying to hold this right. Okay. I think that's better. Okay. Yeah, that's good. That's good. Okay. Yes. I think you're looking very pulled together. You know, you mentioned... Um, the Gloria's movie. And I did, I, I was going to do this later, but since you just mentioned it, everyone needs to see it. I'm going to, I'm going to strip for you. So hold on. Oh my gosh. What hold did you on. Know? Okay. I don't Let's know if see. people can see it. Oh wait, hold on. There it is. Oh, that's amazing. It's, I'm sure it's backwards. Can you read it or it doesn't read backwards? Yeah. Yes. Well, it's I backwards. happen to know what it is. <laughs> well, this is everybody, the Gloria's. It's an amazing movie about Gloria Steinem's life um, that will be coming out this fall? Yes, in September. It, it, it was uh, based on Julie Taymor, who I think is a genius. So she yeah. said she wanted to option my On the Road book, which was the last book I wrote. I said, you can do anything you want. I think you're a genius. <laughs> so she has just done amazing things. I mean, it covers decades and decades in two continents. And somehow she has done this uh, in, in one kind of emotional narrative. It's genius. Well, we got a little preview, those of us who went to the Makers Conference, and it is, it's really magical. And I can only imagine what it was like for you to sort of watch it um, and see your life on the big screen. Um, but it was magical for all of us. Yeah, the, of course, what was most moving to me were probably not the same things that my parents, for instance, you know. Right. Uh, 
no, it was it was it was really very moving. But I think she captured something very uh, rare, which is that because she is showing me, of course, at different ages, I think she captured the fact that we are all like those nested Russian dolls, and we have our previous selves inside us. Right. And I'm not sure I've seen any other movie that's done that. I like to think of my life as little moments of Russian dolls. I'd like to go back to a couple of the earlier ones. Well, of course, for me, they're like miniature because I'm so short. They barely get bigger. <laughs> <laughs> so, Gloria, what are the, um, we want to hear, what are the three main items that are getting you through all of this? Well, uh, you know, I, I think I, I'm so impressed with the inventiveness and compassion of what's online. There are all kinds of yoga exercises and meditations and bits of wisdom. And, you know, I, I, I just think it's all out there. Yeah. So I thought that maybe what was less out there uh, is what we can do with this emergency in a positive sense. That is, you know, as we're all saying to each other, the Chinese pictogram of, of uh, emergency is a combination of danger and opportunity, right? right? Okay, so what are the opportunities? Well, one clearly is the need for a universal health care system. There has never been more proof that I can think of. Yeah, yeah, that yeah. I got to start taking notes. Okay. Ill, yes. every, everybody is ill. Absolutely, we need universal health care. And another is that the breeding grounds of viruses, not just this one, but many others, are the very cruel, packed animal factory farms hmm. where animals are packed together, tortured, slaughtered. I mean, that's been going on for a long time. Many people have pointed it out, but now I think most of us realize it. Um, you, you know, the people who were on this continent or in many countries before ate meat maybe once a month, but they kindly <laughs> apologized to the spirit of the animal and killed it. I mean, there were not, you know, packed, packed, terrible uh, fa fa factory farms in which animals can't move. And that's been the breeding ground for not just virus, this virus, but others. Then I think, you know, uh, of course, obvious is that this virus doesn't know from race and gender. Hello? <laughs> so so we, it's, an, it's an opportunity to realize that we made up race and gender, human beings, relatively recently in human history. Old languages didn't even have he and she. And the race is not race. It's really that we all came from the same place more or less, we developed and then we traveled. So if we were in cold climates, we lost melanin in our skin in order to absorb vitamin D. If we were in sunny climates, we got more of it. But you know, but hello, we are all human right. beings. This this is, could be a huge lesson. Hello. Hello, <laughs> it's a lesson. Did you hear that? Where is the item? No, um, no, 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 it's just obvious, don't I you think? Know. Yeah, and, and, and the last one, of course, is that we are all passengers on Spaceship Earth. Right. I mean, we have never had a better demonstration of the fact that national boundaries are made up, <laughs> that completely artificial, they didn't always exist. We are all on a spaceship together, and maybe someday spaceship passengers like me will learn how to hold the camera better. <laughs> I would love to get on a spaceship with everybody I, I can't, right now. I still can't figure out, okay, oh, that's a little better. Okay. I think that's perfect. <laughs> would everyone give a wave, give a thumbs up. It looks good, right? Okay. Um, but, <laughs> but Gloria, I wish we could all get on a spaceship together. Sadly, right now, we have to all get on our own isolated spaceship. Um, you know, but it's so interesting that you say this has no race or gender. At the same time, you know, who falls victim? Who is suffering from yeah. it, yes, right. And that's a lesson, too. Actually, the New York Times uh, yesterday, I think, had an excellent, excellent article of, about why we are the only developed democracy in the world without a national health care system. 
it's because the racial bias uh, present in decision makers in Congress in years past, and probably still, but especially in years past, didn't want to guarantee the same rights that crossed race, especially, you know. So that's, you know, right. it's, it's much done with much more care and documentation than the New York Times. Right. But no. that's how we're all penalized by racism. No, it's scary. It's a frightening time in that sense. Um, but tell me just, um, I want to give everyone a sense, really, I, I want our you know, our viewers to be able to ask you questions. So um, everyone, please send in your questions and um, we, our team is going to keep track and send them to me. So I want to give you a little warning. So any questions you might have for Gloria? Yes, and, and any answers. I could use some answers. Oh, good. Even better. <laughs> give some, we, no questions. Leah, let's just give answers. Um, but Gloria, what are the, um, if there are some silly things, what are the, what are the things in your house that are getting you through? Uh, well, you know, there, of course, we're all watching things we don't always admit we're watching <laughs> <laughs> television, right? Yeah. Right. Uh, and. So uh, what are you going to admit? No, well, I'm not, I mean, you know, I, I suppose I could rewatch The Americans, which was my. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> the great one. Right. Uh, Madam Secretary. Yes. Which is quite classy, actually. That's a great one. I recommend that one. Good. What about you? What What have you been watching? Um, I am, I, like you, I'm a, uh, I, I have actually been enjoying these spontaneous things. Global Citizen is doing a great uh, Together Home tour. That's been really fun. Verizon just did a, it's the music. So I watched, um, it, they, Verizon did something with um, Dave Matthews at his home. The Indigo Girls brought us into their home and so oh, that's I, had, great. I was, it was very nostalgic of watching the, with the india indigo girls um i've loved watching um uh jimmy fallon do the show at home mm -hmm. anyway mm -hmm. i just find the creativity that's coming out really inspiring and exciting yes it is great yeah it is great. yeah yeah um all right so let me ask it let me let me pull up my computer and see what what everyone's asking Oh, gosh, Glory, here we go. There are lots. Okay. Um, <laughs> this is funny. So this is from Carissa Garcia. Um, she says, with all that's going on, do you think nature is a woman? And have we pissed her off? <laughs> uh yeah, I think so. I mean, remember, I don't know if the questioner is old enough to remember a... Um, ad for margarine that was, it's not nice to fool mother nature. Do you remember that? Yes. <laughs> but in a more serious way, there is a Native American uh, story, which kind of says that because that the globe, the earth is a living being. And if human beings get too destructive, that living being, the earth will shrug us all off and start over. Oh boy. <laughs> Are we going to get shrugged? Well, I don't know, but it's kind of comforting to think in, a, in an odd way to think that. But I, it, it's why I think we need to use this for positive ends and as well, you know, because, um, you know, it isn't the art of life is, is really, you can't control what happens, but you can use what happens. Yes, that's a great. Gloria, the quotes are never ending. <laughs> you are such a gem. Um, okay, how can this is from Tamina? I have to Tamina uh, Kowski, um, and she says, "How can feminists ensure equity isn't lagging during COVID pandemic and lockdown? So, how can feminists ensure that equity isn't lagging?" Well, we really have to fight every step of the way and help each other. For instance, battered women's shelters right now are having a tough time. Yeah. Women who are giving birth right now are having a tough time. So uh, it, it is uh, kind of a hyper movement at this moment and a multiplied reason to reach out and and help each other and support each other and call attention if we're workers in the media to what these problems are. And if we can give any money to give money 
uh, it, it, especially to what women are not at the to the exclusion of men, of course, but at least recognizing the disproportionate suffering. We've been really trying to shine a light on um, the Women's Prison Associ Association, WPA, that's based in New York, and they're protecting formerly incarcerated women who are, you know, it's hard enough for them to get a job once they leave prison, let alone now, and keeping their jobs and shelters and domestic violence and all of that. So, um, yes, I think we really need to all give and dig deep in our hearts and think how we can um, support women at this vulnerable time. Um, yes, I think in another way, it's a time when uh, men who have been in prison, who in the absence of women have been used as women, yeah. understand the damage of sexual assault and body invasion. And we need to come together on that issue because when men hear it from other men, it's helpful. Right. So maybe we need to make or get some men on here and start spreading. I agree with you completely. It's, it's hard. I mean, every once in a while after a lecture, some, a man who has been in prison will come up to me and say, I understand because here's what happened to me in prison. But it's, it's hard for them to come forward because of the shame factor. Yeah. So I hope we can somehow make it easier and have a wider coalition. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. All right, we're on it. We're going to join you on that. <laughs> um, all right, I only have two more. And there's so many good ones. Oh, you have thank you notes you have to write. And I want to be able to answer all these. I'm going to have to like beam myself and become Gloria somehow. Um, <laughs> hi, um, hi, Gloria. What is something? This. Oh, sorry. Oh, my name is Miss Moon. Okay. Hi, Gloria. What is something you would recommend one could do to use this time for personal growth? Well, I think that might be different for all of us. You know, uh, f for me, I have, I have taken courses on how to meditate. I have, I totally believe in meditation. I and I don't do it. <laughs> so, <laughs> so, <No! laughs> so for me, you know, that 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 would be a step forward. Uh, for someone else, it might be something quite different. You know, uh, so I I just think we know what it is that we've always intended to do. And this is the moment to move from intention to actually doing it right. with a capital D. We can't procrastinate <laughs> anymore. I've heard a lot of um, new thing. I've heard a lot of meditation. We've also heard a lot of journaling, actually. Yes. Really right. thinking about picking up and, 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 and now that we're all in this reflection mode, let's capture that feeling so that when life goes back to reality, we can always go back to what we were feeling like and what we wanted to remember and have it on paper or computer or whatever that may be. Yes, and that's very, that's very, very important because no one is feeling exactly what each individual listening right now or seeing right now <laughs> is feeling. And to write that down is a contribution yeah. to everyone else and very, will be very precious to you in the future. Yeah, maybe we could just have this collective book that all comes together. And uh, speaking of books, there is a, do you have any book recommendations for lockdown? Oh, you didn't tell me that. Well, <laughs> oh, and who was that? So I give it oh, to you. Oh, it's, oh, maybe. It's okay. K-B-I. K-H-I? Uh, I, well, I can't, I'll, I'll I can't you, see anything there's, anymore. There's, there's a book called Sex and World Peace, which is uh, very important and connected to one of the other questions because it absolutely demonstrates in every country in the world with all the UN statistics that, that the biggest indicator of whether there will be violence in the streets of a country or whether that country will use military violence against another country mm. is not poverty, not access to natural resources, not religion or even degree of democracy. It's violence against females, mm. not because female life is any more important right. than male life. It's not, <laughs> but because that's what we tend to see first. It's, it's the patriarchal hierarchy we see in our families and sometimes all the way to violence in the streets and rape and so on. And it makes us think that violence is inevitable or that patriarchy has always been, which is quite new in human history. And also 
it's necessary to control reproduction in order to maintain racism. So it, it just, it's a book that can help us unravel that. And remind me again what it's called, Gloria? Sex and World Peace. And okay. if you Google it right now, I'm not remembering the author's name, but if you Google it, you will easily, easily find it. Okay, good. Sex and World Peace. I also, um, you know, for those of you who are joining here, um, just a reminder that this is uh, Makers at Home um, and follow at Makers Women, and we're going to be doing more of these. Gloria was nice to be our first, but we're also going to shine a light on authors who just had books come out, um, but their book tours had to be canceled. So people like Cameron Esposito, um, I, I know this doesn't do it the right way, but that says Cameron Esposito, <laughs> and it says save yourself. Um, she's a uh, LGBTQ activist and comedian. She is hilarious. Um, so we'll be talking to her this week. Abby Wambach and Glennon Doyle. Oh gosh, I don't know. A lot of people have been saying uh, Glennon's book Untamed is getting them through this craziness. So anyway, those are from Maker. Those are great choices. Great choices. Yeah. Um, all right, Gloria. Well, we need to, uh, our, our, we need to wrap this up, sadly, although I could do this forever, but I know you have to get back to your thank you notes. Um, and uh, I will say, I love And it. not to mention all the deadlines that I, you know, you would Work. think that now I would be able to write, right? No. <laughs> no. <laughs> much else to do. Are you finding yeah. it's actually harder to write now than ever? Yes, because I get occupied on online, even though, you know, so, I mean, I have... Uh, the essays that are introductions to other people's books. I have uh, my own book to write. I have no shortage. What is the next book, Gloria? <laughs> or is that secret? Uh, well, no, it's not a secret exactly. It's I, I have two co-authors, and we all got mad at the same time. <laughs> no, I guess we were permanently mad that the women's movement is occasionally referred to or frequently referred to as white or white feminism, when of course, if it's white, it isn't feminism. Uh, so we're trying to restore the true figures who were, because black women from, from the first public opinion poll in 1972, black women were way more likely to be feminists and to support mm -hmm. feminist issues than white women. Oh. So we're, we're working on that. Great, good. <laughs> um, do you have a title yet or you can't say? No, we haven't agreed on the time. <laughs> <laughs> I know that's always the hardest part. You can write a book and then you, what are we going to call it? So I, oh gosh, everything is backwards, but I found this this morning uh, in my laundry room. And what does it say? And it says, it, there's Gloria, everybody. It's a little rusty, but I've had it for a while. Um, and it says, shit equally divided is better than shit unequally divided. Yes, I, I still believe that. Okay, good. <laughs> I wanted to leave on a on a quote like that and and uh, just say to you, you know, thank you, Gloria, from the bottom of my heart for launching Makers at Home with us. Um, we are so indebted to everything you're doing, even from your home. Even though you've been there for three weeks, we can feel your energy and love. And so thank you. Oh, well, thank you. And thank you for taking me on my very first voyage here. <laughs> I know you've done it. Now you can say no. You can say I did it once. I don't need to do it again. Or you can say I love it. I'm ready. Put me on. Okay. And I and I, I send love and apologies. To God. So I could see, you know, all of the names coming up of people who were sending messages and questions and so on. And I don't know how we can connect uh, those, but I will do my best. I will do my best. Okay. All right. Well, we will. And we will also be here at Makers Women at Gloria Steinem. Um, we're here for any questions you have. And thank you, Gloria. Be safe, be well, enjoy your cat, um, and love you. Thank you. Virtual hugs. Virtual. <laughs> Bye. Bye. Oh, hold on. Don't go away. All right, everyone. Well, that was a fun sort of live ending with my phone dropping. So ah, I'm just going to hold it for this part. Oh, you, sorry. Gosh, you guys, this is live. That's my family room. Hold on. I'm back. Okay. So you got, you just saw your first Makers at Home Live. I hope you're excited for more. Um, and our upcoming, here's my cheat sheet. Upcoming this week, we have the CEO of Time's Up, Tina Chen. 
We have Cameron Esposito, as I said, Ai Jen Ku, um, who's the founder of the National Domestic Alliance Workers, Cheryl Sandberg, Katie Couric, Glennon Doyle, Abby Wambach, Sint Marshalls, who's the president of the Dallas Mavericks, and more. So we will send the schedule out via Makers Women, and we hope that you will all join us. And a huge thank you to Team Makers. This was so fun pulling together. Um, and of course, our Verizon Media family, um, Guru and Alex Wallace, we're so grateful to you. Our GM, Lori, thank you. Um, and of course, Amy Richards and Aubrey from Magoria's office for pulling this all together. Thank you all, and we'll see you this week at Makers at Home. Bye.